The myth is alcohol makes you a better artist. <laughs> Nice. By increasing confidence and decreasing inhibitions, <laughs> the idea is a few drinks really lets those creative juices flow. <laughs> to test this myth, you'll be sculpting face models of your own faces. Everyone set? <laughs> Excited? Yeah. <laughs> All right, your time starts now. And this is science. So before the booze, they'll have 45 minutes to sculpt a sober baseline. With a time lapse to showcase their model behavior. Before you know it, time's up. Armed with their drink of choice, That's right, science sculpture. The candidates get buzzed enough for that creative sweet spot. But still below the Californian drunk driving limit of 0.07. Here goes nothing. And once they're all blown out, yeah! the clock starts for test two. Let's talk about alcohol in the brain. It's pretty well established that having alcohol decreases inhibitions and increases confidence. And this will be my masterpiece. But it also messes with executive function in the brain, parts of the brain that deal with focus and planning. I can't work around him. So the idea is, if you just get a little buzzed, you won't have to focus on your task at hand, and you kind of just do it. And with the 45 minutes up, Alan Jr. We've got a batch of booze busts, but are they more or less creative? It's up to our guest judge, Darren, to decide. Before you, seven buzzed sculptures and seven sober sculptures. What I want you to do, right. take these little stickers here and put it along with the sculptures you think are the most creative. Remember, Darren doesn't know which were done sober and which weren't. Wow, what a difference, bang. That's hilarious, that's got to go on that one. So before you all sober up completely the results of this myth, now Darren ranked all seven sets of buzzed and sober sculptures, and he found that in four sets, the buzzed sculptures were more creative. So this myth is plausible, but only just. <laughs>